Okay, here um, we're going to use what we call the general power rule or the extended power rule, which is a version of the chain rule. So now, the first thing I would do right here is I would rewrite this as 18 times 5x plus 2 to the negative 1 third. You can't use a power rule without a power. All right? <clears throat> Um, it's negative because it's in the denominator, and it's one third because it's the cube root. Okay. Now, as I find the derivative, I'm going to use uh, my regular rules. Negative one third times 18 will give us negative six. Five x plus two. Remember, we're still subtracting one, so that's to the negative four thirds. All right. That comes because negative one-third minus three over third, just on our stretch work, and we take the derivative of the parentheses. The derivative here would be, what, five, okay? So now, as we simplify, negative six times five will give us negative 30 times five x plus two to the negative four-thirds, all right? <coughs> So that's how we do a problem like this. But the key is rewriting it correctly um, so it will allow you to utilize your rules. <clears throat>